Maxime, a draw against Yu Yangi. The Petrov, were you expecting it? Uh, not quite. So I was very surprised by his choice. But uh, yeah, in general, the opening didn't go too well. I was struggling to find a way to keep the, the game on. Then I thought I managed somehow and uh, got some initiative, but he played a few accurate moves. I missed one sub 30 that he could uh, start with h5 after queen f5, and after that, uh, there was really not much I could do. So black was never really in trouble, so his opening surprise worked today? Yeah, you could sum it up like this. <laughs> right, now with the white pieces, you're obviously looking to find some advantage on the board, and when that doesn't happen and things don't seem to go according to plan in an opening, how, does your, how do you cope with that, or how does the mind work at that point? Yeah, it's always a pity you not know, to manage to put pressure with white, but... Uh, yeah, so far with white that worked well, and uh, it's you know you cannot uh, it cannot work that well in every white game. But of course it's a pity. I try to refocus to to find uh, ways. I mean reasonable ways to to keep the game on. I thought I did, but uh, yeah, then in the end it was really not much. <laughs> Right, and a la one more game to go, and really anything can happen, everything to play for. What uh, what would be your strategy going into the last round? Well, I'll play sensible chess because I'm pretty sure I will get a very strong opponent. But uh, anyway, I can keep the game on, uh, I will, because of course uh, uh, a draw is really not worth much tomorrow. Right now, of course, it depends on everything else that happens on the other boards, but anyone in particular that you would like to play tomorrow? I have absolutely no, no idea about that. Um, I mean, if I could double white again, uh, that would be great, but that's very doubtful. <laughs> right, well, we wish you all the best for tomorrow. Good luck. Thank you.